Hey there, so this video here today is kind of a follow-up to my video on the Dell 2007 FPB 4.3 aspect ratio monitor that I recently did a video on. It seemed like a lot of people were interested in that video and interested in that monitor. There's a lot of people as well who are like, why the hell would you ever want this CRT for life type of thing? And hey man, more power to you, however you want a game. But I start to wonder at times, like, do people actually enjoy playing games? Or do they just enjoy telling other people how they sh how they should enjoy games? I don't know, man. It's it's a sick and twisted world out there. But uh, it's not really all that serious. It's really not that serious. I was just doing this video, playing through uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, with this monitor using the tiny NES. Actually, I always hate when people say NES. I, N E S. Uh, where I grew up, it was always called Nintendo, or we said NES. You know, Nintendo Entertainment System. But people say NES in certain parts of the world, and then other parts of the world that I've never heard that said before. People start saying it, but hey, what, whatever. It's not the end of the world here. But yeah, I was using the uh, tiny NES hooked up through composite using the 8-bit though 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller. And one of the things like people will be like, hey, can you test input latency? I honestly, to test input latency, most of the time, it's just off of a feeling, a good old feeling. Am I feeling it or am I not feeling it? Does this feel right or does this feel wrong? And usually I test that with games that I am extremely familiar with. Like on the NES would be Super Mario Brothers 1 or on the Super Nintendo Super Mario World, that kind of thing. Like if I can't time my jumps properly, or if things feel off, then it's like, okay, this option, I have a little bit of an issue with, but with this monitor, as far as the latency, the response time, how everything's refreshing, how those inputs from my controller, which is a wireless controller, I'm not even using a wired controller, you know, how those inputs are being, you know, zapped into the system, and then the system saying, hey, this is what's going on, and then it going to being displayed on the screen, it just really feels fine to me. I hear some people say, oh, you know, CRTs had no latency, which is not true. Just gotta do a little bit of research and you'll you'll find how the uh, latency worked on a CRT. But you know, a lot of monitors definitely are gonna have some form of latency that gets added to, you know, and causes you to have input lag. And for me, for it to be something noticeable, that's when I really talk about it. That's when I bring it up. Like, hey man, like this just feels bad. And there has been times I've had devices that I've used, systems that I've played on, that things just don't feel right. Sometimes input latency will be quite low to where you know it's there, but it doesn't affect you type of thing. And maybe that's the case with some of the options I am fine with. So with this Dell FPB 2007 monitor, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's doing its job well for me. Visually, yeah, I'm playing through composite, so it's not gonna look the greatest. But as far as like the colors, the action on the screen, it does its job for me. And then using S-Video on the consoles that I could use S-Video with, it looks great. I am going to do like a follow-up test with the Dreamcast, because some, some people are bringing up uh, using VGA, so I think that'll be a, a cool follow-up at some point. Uh, we'll be doing that pretty soon, uh, making a video testing out the Dreamcast through VGA, maybe trying some things through that DVI port, I don't know. But you know, so far with this monitor, I've been very happy with it. It suits my purpose well. I had a specific reason I wanted this. I have tons of options to play any of my retro systems or play games that are retro games. You know, I can play them on my PC, Switch Online, Raspberry Pi, Mr. Analog Pocket. There's tons of options and I use quite a few of them. I just wanted these monitors to have like a little corner set up instead of using like a CRT or anything else. That, hey. You know, it is what it is. Sometimes I, I, I do wonder, though, and it I'm just as guilty. I'm not trying to attack anybody here, but I do feel like a lot of us, a lot of us really do wind up searching for ways to play games. What's the best way to play retro games? Let me explore all these different options. And you're constantly researching things, looking for different options, different displays, different ways to hook up systems, different ways to mod systems different ways to play games, different ways to emulate them, all sorts of things. And part of the problem is, is it, it is an ever evolving thing. Like things are constantly coming out and changing 
or new information or new opinions, that you know, kind of stuff. But I, I do feel a lot of us, man, we spend way too much time on the hunt on how to play our games instead of just playing our games. Instead of just sitting there and having fun, we're too busy trying to figure out how to have fun when we, a lot of us, just have solutions already that work perfectly fine. But yeah, like myself, like I said, I'm just as guilty. But at the same time, I've kind of monetized that. I've made a YouTube channel where I test out different products and I play retro games different ways. I make a living doing this. And I do feel very grateful for that. But at times it's like, man, when do I like just take a step back and, and smell the roses, play some games and have some fun? Yeah, you know, I do feel a lot of us get caught up in that. And it's just the way it goes, I guess. Sometimes we just got to say, you know what? I'm happy with what I got, right? But I guess some people may just have fun constantly looking for new, you know, products and solutions and ways to play. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I have fun with that as well. But one last thing that I wanted to talk about real quick as I'm playing Super Mario on this uh, video here is there is another comment, and there is quite a few of these comments. Most of them, I took them as just jokes, but there was a couple that were, like, dead-ass serious, and it's that that old, like, oh, you know, a retro gaming YouTuber posts something about a product or an, an item, and now everybody wants it and the price is going to skyrocket. I don't think that's necessarily true. Sometimes, you know, I don't even have that kind of reach, man. That video didn't, like, it did well for me. Didn't do crazy well. But there there, there was a, a listing that I linked to on eBay of a guy, some enterprising individual who probably came up on a bunch of these monitors, maybe through his business or working through Dell. I have no idea. But this guy had hundreds of them. And he wasn't the only person selling them, but he was the one I linked to. And he sold out of whatever he had left within a day after of my video going live. And I saw somebody comment about that, how they hate YouTubers like me because then stuff like that happens and people can't get their hands on these items. To me, that makes absolute no sense. I looked at the uh, the history of the sold items, not like one or two people bought them all. It was a handful of people buying them. And most people bought one, some people bought two. But I, I thought, what what is the, the train of thought here? like? I found something interesting that I want to use and I wanted to make a video out of it and share it with people and people may find it interesting or not. Maybe they'll be like, hey, that's kind of cool. I want one as well. And now they know about it and they look for one. You find these things on, you know, thrift shops and whatnot. A lot of places can't get rid of them. Just depends on where you're looking, right? But yeah, people bought them and shame on me for like sharing my experience and maybe other people being interested as well. That makes no sense to me. Makes no sense to me. These are monitors that, you know, there's billions of them out there. I don't know the exact number. Holy crap, man. Cut me some slack. But there you go, Mario. No problem using this monitor. Appreciate you guys. Bye.